So, in this tutorial we will create a green grass lambda uh, that will listen to MQTT topics. Previously we just posted on. But this will uh, listen to uh, an MQTT topic and echo back. Uh, so it will listen to the topic echo input and echo back the exactly the same uh, stuff into uh, echo output. Uh, and it will be done in JavaScript. Uh, so the, the thing here is that um, the only thing you actually need to do to uh, listen to an incoming FTT message in a Lambda is to have a handler for it. And uh, when that handler will be called where, whenever a message it, it is put on the topic, actually. Uh, so, what we'll do here is we create this Lambda, go through the code, and deploy it to AVS, configure AVS to use this Lambda, uh, and then configure IT to allow the Lambda to listen to the echo input and uh, post to the echo output. And then we will deploy the Lambda to the Greengrass device and verify that the messages are received when we post them to, to the edge device. So, uh, if we then uh, just look into the code here, uh, we will see that um, uh, this is the normal code project we have, and in this uh, example, we will use the GDS MQTT echo Node.js project. And uh, here we have uh, in under new modules, of course, we have the Greengrass core, we need to have it there. Uh, and here we have the actual code file there. So it will be pretty simple. It will um, will import the Greengrass SDK and we will actually implement the handler function. So in this case, so this function will be called whenever the um, there is a message posted to the topic that, that this lambda has been configured to be the the, the receiver of, and um, it will be um, then we'll get the event and the context, and the only thing we actually will do is say that we will call the publish MQTT message function, which is this one, uh, and uh, the event, uh, which we will call message here, that is the actual message that was sent from the um, uh, from the sender in this topic, and the topic in this case will be taken from the context. And the context here, we have I just have an example here of how that object actually looks. Uh, the context contains um, an object client context, which contains object custom, a subject, and here we can see the actual. Uh, topic name that uh, this message was received from. So you could create, uh, co uh, configure this Lambda to be the receiver of uh, a lot of different topics. And by looking into this uh, subject part, you can see which of the topics that you actually receive the message from. So uh, when we this uh, message is called, we will um, create a payload where we will say this is what's the received message. It, it was received on this topic, and this was the name of this specific device. And this my name is uh, we get this from the uh, environment variable. Here is IT thing name, which is set automatically by Greengrass. And uh, then we say set the payload to the message we will send to a stream of this payload here. Uh, and this message is uh, is what we have here. This is what we will send to the IoT client publish uh, method and it will contain the topic where we will post this message, uh, the payload, which is the one we set, set here, uh, and uh, the queue full policy. Uh, and then uh, we will also supply a callback, and the only thing this callback actually does is to log the error and data message. Um, so that's kind of all the code we need to do this. So the main thing here is that the, the handler function, which we must have, is actually implemented here, and that is what will be called when uh, we have a message. So what we do now is we just go into um, the echo project and zip the contact, content. And what the zip does is that it will take the index file, the package JSON, log file, and the node modules, and put them into this zip file here. GTS MQTT echo node.js. And this, that is the file that we will supply to um, when we create the Lambda function here. So we go to our account, 
to the lambda here, uh, uh, lambda block, and we create the function. We call this function GGS MTD echo node and uh, node.js, and it's a node.js 12 function. So this uh, lambda will be then be created, and then we just need to upload the actual code we have created for this lambda because it will be created with the dummy code. Uh, so we go here, we go into action, upload the zip file, we go into GTS and teach echo and take the zip file and upload this. And then for this to work with um, RT, we need to create the version and uh, alias. And when we have done that, we can go into the um, uh, Greengrass IT. We go into the Greengrass IT group to the lambdas, and we add an existing lambda, which will be the echo one, and with alias one. And here we don't need to um, set this to long lived because this will be triggered by an MQTT topic, so it's actually not long long lived. Don't need to modify that, but what we need to go do is to add the subscription. So we want to say that this node.js lambda should be able to post messages to the cloud. And uh, we need to go back to the code and see what we call this topic posted to. That was echo output. So this is where we will post this. And then we also need to actually say that the IoT Cloud should be able to post messages to this Lambda on echo input. So if we allow it to read from this specific topic. So now we have um, created the subscription and the Lambda. So now we just post this message to the um, uh, to the actual device, and then we go here, I can't move that, we say we subscribe to the topic, and here is the topic we want to subscribe to, echo output, that's where the message will be sent from the edge device. Uh, so we start subscribing to this, and we go to the publish, and we will publish to echo input a specific message. First we'll see, yeah, it was successfully deployed, so we try to publish a message to um, this device, and we see here now, we've got a green dot here, and it echoed back. The received message was exactly what we sent. And it was received on topic echo input, and it was received by device IoT Core 1. So now we have um, a Lambda running on a Raspberry Pi in, in Greengrass, listening to an MQTT topic, and responding by back to it. Uh, and of course now, the message is posted from the IoT cloud, but it could just as well have been posted by another Lambda on the same Greengrass device. Uh, 